Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome back along to The Young Farmer. I'm back! I am Andy, I am uh, in a completely different location uh, to when we last caught up. A lot has happened in the year and a bit since we last spoke and I can't wait to kind of bring it all to you really. Uh, so, let's start. We've moved. We were originally uh, on the west coast down uh, in England, uh, just a little bit uh, away from... Uh, Gloucester and we've moved over we have uh, we've moved north we're in Scotland now and we're in a local area called Peterville and what we're doing we've got a few things to kind of get caught up on this is a brand new machine to us I uh, I took this on just about uh, just recently actually and this main job is going to be on this hedge cutter and at the moment now we've just been brought into kind of most and verges down get on top of things and uh, keep everything kind of neat and tidy. So that's exactly what we're doing at the moment in the middle of the day here where it's nice and quiet. We're going all the way down this road and then we're going to come all the way back up the other side to the main yard. At which point in time we're going to have a bit of a discussion. I'll uh, show you around our equipment, which to be honest, for the most part, it's all the same. <coughs> it's uh, it's uh, had a few updates and a few changes since we last spoke. Uh, we've still got the fast track. That's still going well. We've still got a class. Uh, not the same class, but we've still got a class. Got a lot of the same uh, other equipment, plows the same, uh, the drill has changed, uh, but yeah, for the most part we're all pretty much there, which is good, very excited, very pleased about that. Um, and as you can see, we're just kind of tidying up this entire verge way really, it was looking a little bit messy, um, but like to say it's kind of coming in looking very good. What I'm going to do is just loop around here a little bit, get this looking a little bit tidier. Yeah. And then I can come back around the other way and we'll be good to go, which will be nice. Let's see if we can do that. So how in the world have you been? It's been a long time, like I say. Do let me know in the comments down below how you've been and what you've been getting up to. Uh, it's been a while, like I say. We, when you last saw us, you will recall that we, were, we had our own little plot of land. Um, and we had some... A few contracts in the area actually, we were doing okay, we were not doing too badly at all. Uh, getting a good kind of rapport with the local neighbours. Now we moved away, we actually sold that land, uh, that land was bought out by a renewable energy developer, so they paid a lot of money, they were going to stick a bunch of wind turbines on there apparently. Uh, so I thought we'd let them do that. And rather than kind of stand in the way, we'd, we uh, took the money and we came up here. Now we have a nice little yard up here as well. Gotta make sure we're backing onto the main road here, there's nothing coming. Perfect. Yeah, excellent stuff. So we're just gonna do exactly the same on this side as well, gets tied up. So yeah, we made a little bit of extra money there, so we were doing very well on that side of things. We were able to invest in the company. And I was looking for a new challenge, and I was in a fortunate position really where geographic location didn't really matter too much to me, so uh, hey, we moved to Scotland, we had a great opportunity, we bought a new yard, we bought, uh, there are a couple of fields that belong to us, not that many though, because the yard was quite expensive, uh, and I wanted to be able to invest some into the new equipment as well, uh, which we've been able to do, uh, oh, get down, ridden over a stump or a tree there, I think, we should be good now, and so yeah, we've invested into some equipment, all, some of which we don't have yet, we're still waiting for its arrival, but it should be coming pretty soon. Some of which I'm very, very excited about, actually. It's going to be a huge step up for us. Uh, one that I cannot wait to make. Let's just get around there again. So yeah, like I say, I'm going to keep rumbling through this little bit here. I've probably got about another hour or two left to go on the hedges. On the verges, you can see there's a lot of verges up there that need to go and do, but we have got the contracts for here. Um, the reason we took over the yard that we did is actually very interesting. So yeah, we when we took over, when we bought the yard, I paid a little bit extra, about five grand extra, and the reason I paid that extra was because I bought the contract book, the custom book from a uh, this old gentleman who had a hedge cutting business, and so he, I bought his clientele really. Uh, which means I have a good starting point, I have a good frame of work to jump straight into. Um, which some of it is this groundwork here. And yeah, we're trying to build off that really, so I think we've got a good chance of doing so. I'm very excited about what those prospects look like. Uh, what I will do though, like I say, we're going to work our way down here. A little bit of a town down the bottom, there's a lovely little seaside actually down here. Uh, my house is actually about a five minute drive away, but... Uh, 
we don't need to see that just yet. We are, what we do, uh, what we do need to see though, is the yard. So uh, I'm going to finish this little strip off here. I'm going to head back up the hill the other way. We'll head to the main yard there, and let's have a look see what we've got. I've got some plans because I want to change it. I want to develop a little bit. So let's see how that's all going to look over the next few. It's going to take us a few months to do that, I should think, because uh, we'll have to fit it in and around any other work that we're doing. But let's see what we've got in store. So I'll be back with you in a few minutes. All right, folks, welcome back along. We are just around the corner from our driveway, but what we're doing is just trying to take it very slowly to get this bit by the hedgerow buttoned out by the church, sorry. Uh, it's been a while since someone has looked in there. I think that church actually might sadly be closed now. Uh, that being said, we're just going to go to the end of the driveway for now. And then we'll see what it all looks like from there. That looks a bit better. Stop that, that's perfect. Bring this in. This is a Case 1255. It's an absolute brute of a machine. Uh, it's actually in immaculate condition. It was recently refurbished, hence the reason the paintwork's looking fantastic. And um, let's just, now we're in here. Uh, let's just pull that around, like so. Perfect stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been kept at, looked after very, very well, so. I am delighted to have taken ownership of it, and it's pretty much going to stay on the hedge cutter the whole time, because like I said, we've got a lot of work coming in. But this is our yard. We have done a little bit of, well, it's kind of a little bit tight in here at the moment, if I can be brutally honest. Uh, we're going to park this here for now, I think. Let's just stick this into that. Perfect. Now, we are still missing one grain trailer. This Marshall grain trailer here is actually the uh, replacement for the old Marston that we had. Um, we needed something a little bit bigger, so we've got a, we went up in size. Uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of wiggle room here, but we've got some space that we can work in anyway. We've got our Cavinland plow still. Uh, we've got a grain trailer. Uh, we have one of our two grain trailers here. The other one is on the way still. Um, this area here, I want to kind of remove all this earth so I can just have a bit of an area to use, because at the moment, that is kind of squashing the... Uh, the trailers and um, so an old shed here that we could store into that leads out into the main road through that door um, this is an old farmhouse I think that's not seen any life for a long long time we we upgraded the class you may remember we had a 640 Arion uh, we've gone a little bit bigger we've got an 810 Axion uh, and I think you'll agree it's a rather magnificent looking piece of equipment uh, where we, I'm delighted with that actually, uh, comes in around about 170 horsepower I do believe, this is the lowest in the range of the actions, um, but it is, I love it, it's really good, gives us a big heavy tractor to use if we ever need to do some heavy draft work, which is great, uh, and then as you remember at the end of the last uh, season of The Young Farmer, we did have a 4240, and here it is, a 4220, beg your pardon, and here it is again, uh, I've left my indicator light on, so let me just switch that off, perfect, we've got a baler and we swapped out our Amazon drill, you may remember there that we got a direct, uh, or a, it was a 6 meter uh, Amazon uh, Catros drill, we swapped that out, we went for a Vardestad, uh, I, I was getting a little bit more satisfaction and joy out of the uh, the pressure units on the, the cultists here and how we can get those to function, so we went for it, it was a uh, it was a choice that I wasn't uh, direct or 100% convinced by to begin with. The Amazon was okay, but it was not meeting all of our needs. So uh, we changed up a little bit, like I say there. And uh, this is not all of our equipment yet. We're still missing the big massy baler to come in, uh, and a trailer, a couple of small things, and a sprayer, and a, there's a uh, slurry spreader down there still as well. Uh, but yeah, so for the most part, we have everything. We've got enough that we can get on with today. Uh, because today we're going to go and do a little bit of drilling as well. So what I need to do is uh, we're going to put the drill onto the 4220. So we'll jump back into into the fast track. So yeah, we've got the job to go and uh, start with at least on a neighbouring farm. Um, it's a neighbouring farm, but the the field itself is actually some way away. Uh, so let me see if I can just get. Now we don't have a great deal of storage space straight away, what we do need to do is figure that out really, we need to find a solution. Um, there is a little bit of potential in this yard, uh, I can clean a few things out here and get a little bit more turn space and nothing else. Uh, now, spoiler alert, 
we are awaiting the uh, order or the delivery of a brand new combine harvester. Uh, I'm not going to say any more. I'm not going to tell you what brand it is. I'm not going to tell you anything about it. All I will say is that we've got it on a higher purchase agreement and it's arriving soon. So when you factor in the combine, the header trailer, and everything else that goes with it, we're going to need a lot more space. Uh, so that's probably what we're going to have to look into sooner rather than later. But uh, yeah, for now, I just want to start doing a little, a few jobs here, getting ourselves Getting ourselves kind of uh, acquainted, or make our acquaintances with the uh, with the, the business owners in the region there, so we can actually get some more contracts coming in, and yeah, just do a good job and get the name out there. Really, that's the most important thing for us right now, I would say. Okay, so we're out now. What we need to go and do, uh, we've got a little bit of driving to do. Fortunately, we're in a fast track here to go and do that. Uh, first thing is we need to go and get some seed. We're going over to see Hugh, who is the farmer next door, really. Uh, oh, let's get out of here. And Hugh owns the uh, the main farm next door and has a few bits of land for us to, to actually get drilling for him. Uh, not quite sure yet if he has any of his own stuff or if he just wants us to do this one field or not. Uh, but hey, it doesn't really matter as long as he's given us some work. That's kind of all I'm concerned about to begin with. And yeah, we'll get that done. And then so we drive over to his farm and then we're a little way away from the field. So that's not a problem. No problem for me at least. Uh, yeah, and chance to get back out on the fast track. As you can see, it's a beautiful part of the world we're in. It really, really is stunning. Uh, some of the crops are actually looking pretty close to being ready to roll. So uh, I'd be very interested if we can get in there with our new combine when it arrives. Oh, this is all locked up, so that's not ideal. Peter Ville Farm, there he is. Open, fantastic. Look at it. It's nice and quiet around here on the roads as well, which is really, really good. Uh, these Scottish roads are sometimes a little busy with uh, with drivers and weekend drivers. Fortunately, though, it's a Tuesday afternoon, so there you go. Mm, okay, let's see where we need to be with this. He yeah, does have quite a head of cattle around here. I noticed in the fields coming by there, there's a lot of uh, dairy cattle floating around. So I imagine dairy cattle will bring an awful lot of grass with them, uh, or grass requirements, so hopefully we can get in on that. That'll be the dream. So I don't quite know where we need to go to uh, see where his seed is. There's a bag of seed here, let's see if that'll do it for us. Okay, so I've been reliably informed that we're around the corner here somewhere, so we'll keep on filtering ourselves around till we find it. Uh, looking for a white hopper, and that is not it there anyway. No. Nice new looking buildings on here though, I must admit. Huge silage pit there as well, ginormous. Ah! Ha ha! There we go! So we've got some seed bags in there, we've also got a, uh, a hopper by the looks of things, this can get us going. Let's see how close we need to get into this, folks. So we're going to get this all filled up then, and we'll come back to you as soon as we're done. We can get ourselves into the field, and uh, yeah, let's get some work done. Always got to shut the gate. Keep it all nice and tidy. What's over in that fence there? Hmm, nothing, bit of scrap in there. Okay, so I know what we're going is not too far away. We've got about... Uh, oh, what am I holding here? Uh, about do, 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 three and a half ton of wheat seed in the back. Uh, we're gonna go past our little yard there. Uh, I'm gonna take the next turn. Oh, look at my Land Rover! I forgot to mention about that. That is glorious, beautiful. Nearly crashed as well. Uh, so my old Land Rover, the old red one, was actually my dad's, and he wanted to keep all of it down there, which is fair enough. So I had to look for a new one. I found some which was pretty nice in the end. Absolutely classic. Really, really nice. So yeah, we've uh, we've got an old Land Rover there. I have often thought about getting one of those nice, shiny new service trucks. Uh, and there's like a Nissan out there at the moment, which is looking really good, and a couple of different pickup options. But uh, yeah, for now we're just gonna stick with what we know, I think. So we're gonna get this winter wheat drill. It's not this field here, because obviously, well, there's a fully grown field of wheat there. Uh, but it is the next one up. Now I'm not quite sure. How we in? Oh, the gate's gonna be right there, is it? No, that's grass. It must be on the other side. 
Ah, yes, there's the BGA. Which is just looking huge, I must admit. On the other side of the BGA. That's right past these little raw houses. I don't think the entrance is down there. I think we're going to continue on and find it up here. Lovely little roads. Oh, yes, there it is. Beautiful winding little roads. What a lovely time of day it is. This is not the biggest field. I think we're looking at about 17 acres or so, so it shouldn't take us too long to do at all. We're just going to swing onto the side here. There we go. One thing I do know is with this drill, this setup here, we can absolutely fly through the ground. Uh, if it's all there, if it's all kind of worked down ahead of us, there, there's nothing stopping us really. It's going to be great. Now we'll just uh, click the hydraulics in there. It's all set up here on my spool valve, so it should be nice and automated. Get around the corner. Now I'm going to use this as our edge. We're going to I need to set up the GPS on here, uh, which we do so through our monitor there. So let's just get that all set up and figured out. All right, we're just going to take it slowly to get ourselves all set up. Then make sure I've got my diff locks in. There we go, a little bit soft ground, we need to get those in and make sure they're all looking good. We're just going to put our AB line in here, so all I need to do is drive up here a little bit longer and I'll press my button. And there we go folks, that's all there is to it. GPS is now set. Beautiful sunny afternoon, early evening here, it's really coming along. Drill looks like it's working well, but what we'll do is we'll make one pass and then we'll... Uh, We'll turn around and have a look see how it's all coming in there, actually make sure that we are establishing this as well as possible. And yeah, this is the first real ag work we're doing up in Scotland, and I'm excited by it. I hope you are too. Um, and there we go, just like that. Uh, hoping, like I say, to get the rest of our equipment shipped up here soon. I'm using a company from not, not too far away from where I originally started, actually. Uh, I've got a low loader that makes a trip up here about once uh, every two days, three days. And uh, yeah, so he's been a lifesaver for us, really. It really, really has. Uh, so, let's just get to the end here. Alright, we'll get this shipped around. Oh, it looks like it's coming in okay. Uh, let's just stop there and have a quick look see. So we're looking for only about in the region of a couple of centimeters of depth with the uh, maybe three centimeters uh, for the seed establishment and I think we're going to be getting there now. This soil is nice and worked over already. It's had to cultivate to go through it once already I would say and yeah it looks great for it. Really really does. So we're going to just keep rumbling through and see what else we can get up to. This field we'll get this done this evening for sure and then we can move on to whatever else we need to look at tomorrow so at this stage i think we'll leave us here for now as we look over the fast track with the new drill on thank you ever so much for watching i hope you have enjoyed if you have don't forget to hit that like button and smash that subscribe button for simulation for the nation who very kindly agrees to host everything i am andy the young farmer i'm back and we're up in scotland so stay tuned to see how this ride goes it's gonna be fantastic i really hope you think so as well until next time though enjoy yourself and we'll see you in the next one